This video is intended to introduce you to Obsidian and Zotero. Now, in the ever-evolving landscape of academic research and note-taking, efficiency and organisation aren't just goals. They are absolute necessities. So today, we're going to embark on a journey into the combined power of Obsidian and Zotero. Both tools are designed to revolutionise the way we manage knowledge. So let's dive into how these tools synergize to create an unparalleled research and note-taking system. First of all, let's meet Obsidian. Paradigm shift in personal knowledge management. With its markdown format, Obsidian ensures the longevity and accessibility of your notes. Markdown essentially means that all of the notes you create can be read in a text editor. So Obsidian is timeless because it doesn't have any proprietary code in which notes are stored. Furthermore, Obsidian can be stored on your local hard drive or your personal cloud, so you have complete and total control over all the files. You are not enslaved to any particular platform. Another amazingly useful feature of Obsidian is that it empowers you to weave a web of interconnected ideas using links between different notes. This fosters a very non-linear approach to thinking, but all the notes are linked, but still providing the accessibility to explore and follow the links between all of your thinking. In addition to that, Obsidian is very accessible in terms of price because it opens the doors to students and seasoned researchers alike. It's free for personal use, but you can pay a $25 one-off payment, which supports development and gives you early access to new features. Of course, I would encourage you to do this. Another option that Obsidian offers is a sync facility, which allows you to sync between various computers where you may have your vaults installed. Obsidian also offers Obsidian Publish, whereby you can publish a vault to the web, so you can actually have your own website done in Obsidian and publish it that way. So they're just two of the other features that Obsidian also offers. So now that we've talked about Obsidian, let's turn our attention to Zotero, an absolute powerhouse of reference management. Zotero's versatility shines with its browser integration, which allows the capturing of bibliographic details with a click. Of course, that is apart from authors, abstracts, and all other details about an article. And not only that, but if a PDF version of an article is available, then Zotero will import that as well, tailored to your research needs. There are many reference versions to choose from, and if one is not there, you may well be able to import it. The installation of a plugin is needed for easy citation and bibliographies, which will be demonstrated in subsequent lessons. Now, attachments and annotations are just the beginning. Zotero brings your sources and insights together in one streamlined process. PDFs can be highlighted and notes attached using different colours to signify the different purposes of your notes. Now, although there is no standard colour coding for annotating PDFs, I will share mine with you in the lesson on note -taking. Now, when Zotero meets Obsidian through a free plugin, the synergy is just remarkable. Transfer your annotated notes into Obsidian, which allows the creation of a rich interconnected knowledge base. Now, there are a number of ways you can do this, which will depend on your preference, but I will demonstrate these to you so you can compare. The integration of Obsidian and Zotero is a game changer for complex projects that demand both extensive referencing and deep conceptual development. The combination of the two, Obsidian and Zotero, it's a significant leap forward for academic productivity. For scholars and students and professionals eager to optimise their research process, this is your path to a far more organised, efficient and insightful journey.